Hi dear Scorpio, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Scorpio Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is journal. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing this is a reading from today till the uh, 21st of August. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Scorpio. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Page of Wands, okay, and Nine of Cups. This is someone who feels like talking to you, who feels like communicating with you. This could be a complete new person in your life or this could be a past person with new energy. And this person just wants to talk to you, communicate with you. And this is their wish fulfillment. You know, this person feels like communicating with you and uh, having a playful energy around you, flirting with you, uh, having good time with you, going on a date with you. This is someone who is kind of carrying uh, a very beautiful energy around this. Let me clarify the page of wands. Six of cups, the world and the hangman. Yep, the emperor. Okay. See, this is someone, uh, some kind of, uh, there was an ending. This is someone from your past. There was a completion of a cycle between you and this person, but this person is still very much stuck between... Uh, on you sorry okay so I do see there was some kind of relationship that ended there was a completion of a cycle okay between you and this person and uh, this person is trying to see the the whole relationship from a different perspective from a different angle and they feel like communicating with you talking to you starting this connection from from a friendship level keeping this energy of playfulness and keeping this energy of flirtiness and freshness in this connection alive this is what they feel okay Let's see, they have a past connection with you and they can't just let you go. This is someone who feels like having a reconciliation with you again, although things ended in the past. Let's see what you feel for this person, Scorpio. Your feelings for them right now. Devil, okay. You feel like this is someone who is obsessed with you or you are the one who is obsessed with this person. Or there's some kind of control issues. Okay, there's some kind of addiction, maybe codependency, some kind of addiction between you guys. Might be you guys are addicted to each other. So let me clarify the devil energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Let's see. Let's clarify the devil. Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. See the thing is that you are still attracted to this person. This is someone who is in and out of your life, on and off in your life. This is someone known committal. And this person really makes you happy, but now this time you are taking a stand for yourself, right? This is, uh, you are feeling like I should take a stand for myself, you know? Because might be things are not working out uh, towards the commitment level or towards something that you really want from this person. I don't know what is happening here. But you feel like uh, being a little off and detached and uh, cold from this person because this is becoming something very toxic, okay? This whole on and off situation, in and out, situ in and out of situation is making you happy at least uh, you know at least for the time being or you can say uh, in the moment you live the moment but again right now you feel like you should take a uh, stand for yourself take a uh, dig dig to the deeper level because this is something that's becoming toxic day by day okay so you could be dealing with a capricorn gemini Libra, uh, capricorn taurus Virgo, Capri sorry you could be dealing with a capricorn aries Leo, sagittarius and cancer pisces scorpio i don't know why the hell am i not able to do the reading I'm kind of off today. Okay. Let's see what this person wants from you, Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Okay. They want you to be truthful and honest with them. They want you to communicate something that they are hoping for from a very long time. Okay. They just want you to be very honest. Because this person feels like you're hiding something from them. Or you are the one who is kind of... Uh, not very loyal to them or there might be something that uh, that you are keeping secret from them deliberately so you want them to be so this person wants you to be very very honest and loyal in whatever you are hiding from them they want you to reveal some kind of secret or they have something to tell you okay let me clarify the seven of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy
the moon, the two of swords and the magician, okay. Chariot. So uh, this person wants movement in this connection. They are very, very disturbed because of the dual situation. So they don't know whether you guys are in connection or not, whether this relationship is existing or not, okay. There is a lot of negativity, there is a lot of uh, uh, toxicity around this situation right now. They are on the crossroads, what to do about the situation and they are trying to manifest they are trying to manifest uh, some kind of truth up out of the situation. Basically, I feel like this person wants uh, to manifest uh, clarity. The truth, the clarity, nothing but the truth and clarity out of this connection. But this is what they want from this connection. They are manifesting to come out of this gross throat situation. They are manifesting they should come out of this uh, hideous situation, this secretive situation. There is something that's not, make, that's not making sense to them. They just basically want to come out of that and be very, very clear and honest uh, crystal clear kind of situation in this relationship. This is what they want. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and uh, Pisces and yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Pisces. Let's see what you want from this person, Scorpio. Chariot, okay, you want movement and the Hierophant in reverse is telling me there was an issue with the commitment. Chariot, you want fast and forward movement, might be you want to move on, chariot and chariot. So might be you just, you just want to move on from the situation because you feel like this is not, this is done. You can't handle it anymore. Let me clarify the chariot. The fool, the two of pentacles and the five of words. See, yeah. Tower. Okay. Something ended here abruptly or something is ending here right now. You want to take a leap of faith with the universe. You want to, you just want to come out of this back and forth uh, energy. And you want to come out of this drama, this fight, this whatever is happening, the inner conflict. For some of you, it's power struggle. For some of you, it's like uh, you guys are going to fight with each other. Whenever you talk, you you guys just fight. So that's why you just want <clears throat> to come out of this situation, to move on from this situation, okay? And take a leap of faith with the universe to, and come out of this back and forth and uh, um, confusing <coughs> energy. <coughs> this is what you want. Okay. Yeah. You want to end the drama, you want to end the confusion and you want to move on. From this drama at least. Even uh, if not from the person, you want to move on from this drama, whatever is happening. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 21st of August, Scorpio. Knight of Swords. Okay, somebody is going to knock at your door and they are going to communicate with you. Somebody is suddenly going to come towards you, out of the blue. Sudden message, sudden, sudden message, sudden communication, or else the person is suddenly uh, going to see you at your doorstep. Out of nowhere, they are going to talk to you. Okay, let me clarify the Knight of Swords. This sudden reappearance of this person is going to shock you. Three of Swords, a higher front, and the Six of Swords. Page of Cups. Okay. Some kind of an apology is coming your way. I do say this is someone who is heartbroken because of some kind of commitment or, and or a marriage that created issues between you guys. And somebody is coming towards you with some kind of resolution, peaceful solution to the problem. Okay, so whosoever this person is, this is this person is quite heartbroken and they are coming towards you, charging on you. Okay, they are heartbroken because of a commitment. Might be you are not ready, might be they are not ready. I don't know who is not ready here. But they are heartbroken because of some kind of commitment and or a marriage issue. And they are trying to find a solution. So in the verge of finding a solution, this person is going to charge on you. They'll be like, I just want to talk to you. I have found a solution and I just want this. So let's start like this. Okay. So this sudden uh, <laughs> conversation or sudden appearance of this person is going to shock you. So be prepared for a little shocking news. Shocking appearance of a person. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.